YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and it, I was going to say it's morning, but it's actually now afternoon. It's a little after 12 o'clock in my neck of the woods, and that sun, that sun, thank you, Lord, for the glorious sun. We have had freezing temperatures the last several days, but we did not get rain, at least in my neck of the woods. You know, within your city, you can have certain areas that get rain and certain areas that don't get rain. We were projected to have rain Sunday, and I waited and waited and waited. It was cold, but it didn't rain. Now, we're supposed to get rain on Sunday, but look, been praying for rain, got so much rain during those storms. I'm like, thank you for the sun, Lord, <laughs> and, the, and the cloudless uh, skies, because I can take a break from that rain, but you guys... This video, it's about Tuesday morning. Ah! Oh, I got a little haul to share. I got some um, just Tuesday morning information to share as well. My thoughts and I will, um, Lord willing, come back. I did film and I, I filmed at the last minute because my heart was so sad when I was... At my only Tuesday morning, we had two in my neck of the woods for a year. Well, for about four years. Has it been that long? Three years. We had two stores, but the main store, it shut down. Was it during COVID it shut down or before? I, I don't remember, but it hasn't been too long, it seemed like. But anyway, we, we have this other store, the newer store. And I don't know how long it's going to be open. I just don't know. So I'm going to share a little haul that I picked up. Once again, my thoughts. And then I look, I love the word of God, people. Try Jesus. Try Jesus. I know it's cool. It's the thing to meditate and do all that. And, um, but nothing works for me like Jesus, like good old fashioned prayer, people. Good old fashioned prayer has been my lifelong therapy. I kid you not, I do not exaggerate when I say this. I call on Jesus. I do not call on friends. I do not call on acquaintances, not even my husband. People, I take my heart to the Lord in prayer. Speaking of heart, it is all about Valentine, so all about the heart. And I have a scripture to read for you all. And then I have also, I was going to say a little testimony, but you know what? It's a big testimony. Yeah, because God is able. He's able to change your heart. He's able, people, to fix your heart. He's able to encourage your heart. But let's get into this Tuesday morning news, right? So, Last night, I was headed to Costco, my favorite store, my favorite place to be. And I decided on a whim, just run into Tuesday morning. I went to Tuesday morning about a week ago. And that was my first time going, you guys, in months. In months. I had not been to my local Tuesday morning. And you know what? It probably, a couple years, it just, if I did go in, no, I just don't remember. I had had visited a couple of Tuesday mornings when I went out of town, like on my way to L.A. I stopped, yeah, at the one in Bakersfield, visited one in L.A. But we all know that during the pandemic or because of the pandemic, a lot has changed in our world. And it continues to change like a domino effect of things happening because of the pandemic and also because of the war that's still occurring in Ukraine. Thank God that country is still standing and fighting and holding it down. But anyway, um, I went about a week ago and didn't really see anything. You know, the craft sections, the craft world has changed. Oh, it is so sad because, and I know I might kind of be everywhere, but Many of you guys know, but the word is Hobby Lobby, and I do have a video to bring, but um, Hobby Lobby, as of the 1st of January, 
um, is no longer receiving Spellbinders, Sizzix, and another company. So no longer offering like dyes and probably other products too. But I just remember reading about the dyes. What are we going to do? And then many cities have lost Tuesday morning and I have been shopping at Tuesday morning for years, bringing haul videos from Tuesday morning for years. And then also the live videos from Tuesday morning. Everything is just changing with these stores, not offering coupons, the Michaels, and then the Hobby Lobby not offering the coupon, though they still have sales. Thank God Joanne's still offers coupons galore. But anyway, I didn't buy anything a week ago. It wasn't anything there. We all know that um, Tuesday morning, the craft aisle, it's not what it used to be. But I had gotten word that the stores were picking up the craft products. So I went in last night, and before I had a chance to do any shopping, I got the news. I got some in, the inside scoop on some happenings. And anyway, my local store, and I believe, I don't know if this is all the stores, but I know my local store, which is our only Tuesday morning, everything is 10% off. And in the context of the information that I was given, 10% off because perhaps the store is closing down. Now there's no official word, but in addition to that 10% off, uh, the and I believe this is for all Tuesday morning store employees, they no longer have their Tuesday morning discount. Yeah, so that coupled with 10% off, coupled with not knowing when, because my store did not get a shipment this week, don't know when or if shipments will come in. There's just a lot going on inside the infrastructure of Tuesday morning. And so the, the sentiment is, oh, and Tuesday morning is also filing for bankruptcy again just filed for bankruptcy, I think in 2020. Well, they're doing it again. And on top of that, Tuesday morning is being sued by a couple of employees. And I did some reading last night online and the powers that be, whoever they be, they predict which stores will be filing for bankruptcy or going under. And they base it on, they base it on some type of index but anyway, Tuesday morning was part of that uh, prognostication that it wouldn't be around long. So I don't know, you guys, but the feeling is that at least in my neck of the woods, it's a it's a, pro a high probability that my store will more than likely close. So after I got that news, I, of course, was saddened. And then I thought, you know what? I better do some souvenir shopping. You know, when you know a good thing might go away, you try to capture all you can. So I still need to go back and walk up and down all the aisles. Um, I mean, there's no notices put up. There's nothing like that. It's pure speculation. It's pure the feeling of what's going on. But I wouldn't be surprised if my store closed down because... Tuesday morning overall has been underperforming. A lot of shoppers were shopping online. It's just a different way of shopping now. And anyway, I had a mindset to do souvenir shopping. And then I remembered when I was in the store the other day, I came across this mug that I keep in my china cabinet. Do you guys remember when Tuesday morning had these mugs? I love my Tuesday morning. How I wish I picked up more than one. <laughs> Look, I broke the handle. I hope I kept the handle because I can glue that back on. But if I didn't, I'm going to cherish this because this is authentic. It came out by Tuesday morning. There's no year, but um, this was several years ago. Oh, the craft world is going to be so different, you all. 
Okay, let me share some items that I picked up. Not all crafty stuff, though. And then I'm going to read a couple scriptures and then come back and share the rest of the items I picked up. So, getting old need readers. <laughs> I normally get my readers from Costco. But Tuesday morning got these $10 and then 10% off. I thought, okay, it's cheaper. So, got a little discount for that. Now, I did get some crafty stuff. Oh, and I just remembered. Remember my Tuesday morning craft videos? <laughs> oh, it's so sad, you all. It's so sad. Now, I love, love, love this mug. The Conversation Heart, it's it's my favorite Valentine icon. And look at this, you all. This is beautiful. And the colors, you got your, your red, of course, your dark red or burgundy. But look at that blue and the white. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. I thought to get two of these, perhaps because I sense I'm going to break the handle. <laughs> But original price, $5. Once again, everything in the store was 10% off. This is so pretty. And the white ones, you can barely see the writing on it. But I like the style of this. This is so pretty. Oh, how I wish it said Tuesday morning on it, right? Had some hearts that said Tuesday and morning and all that. Okay, let's see. What else? <laughs> well, you know what? Let's let's get into this little devotional here. I love the Word of God. I cannot live without His Word, people. And the great thing about His Word, the great thing about God is you can have instant access to Him. Many people, they rely and depend. They have a dependency on their therapists their life coach, even their pastor. But look, they ain't always available. But Jesus is always available. The Lord transcends time and space, people, time zones. But the heart I want to focus on is the heart that is sick because hope is delayed. And Proverbs chapter 13, verses 12 reads, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. We know we need to have hope. And the Bible encourage, encourages us to have hope and to hope in the Lord, right? Anybody hoping for anything? I know I, I live in hope. I can't imagine a life without hope. Life would be dark and dreary and dreadful without hope. Hope is a lamp. Hope feeds your spirit. Hope motivates you to wake up every morning. You do what you do because you have hope. You have hope that whatever seeds you're planting, you're going to reap a harvest. You have hope that it's going to work, but sometimes... Hope is deferred. Hope is delayed for a number of reasons. And that can make your heart sick. Sick to the point it's broke. It's shattered. It's dark. It's depressed. Because now it's filled with hopelessness. And you guys, the spirit of hopelessness can come on you just like that. Because I literally experienced it the day before yesterday. See, you can see something. You can remember something. You can hear something that just brings in a world of hopelessness. And I found myself in that state and I started crying. And I told the Lord, I just don't believe no more, Lord. I just don't believe anymore. And I found myself in a, in a dark place. The Lord wants us to be honest the way we feel because he know feelings are temporal they they can be they should be the bad ones should be and we waver based on what we're thinking 
God is not intimidated by the way you feel. He wants you to pour your how your heart out before him, no matter what state your heart is. The Lord cares about you. He wants to know what's in your heart. But I, and with tears, told the Lord, Lord, I just don't believe. I just don't see how. I can't understand why. If it's to be, then why? How come all this? And I fell asleep crying, but I knew, and I thank God for the Holy Spirit. You got to pray. Because sometimes you can get so, your mind can become so just cluttered with this and that. And I I live in a, you know, a life of prayer. But you can still forget. Take it to God in prayer. Some people may drink. Some may smoke. Some may engage in other unhealthy activities, but I thank God for the spirit because in the spirit of the moment, you don't know what you might do when you feel hopeless in the spirit of the moment, you might do something that you wouldn't think you would ever do because that spirit is upon you and it's so strong and overwhelming. I thank God for the Holy spirit pray. So I got up yesterday morning early and I, I took it to my Lord and savior prayed about an hour. Talked about different things, but people just prayed about it. I poured out my heart before God. I shared my heart with him, what I was thinking, what I was feeling. And you know what? In doing that, encouragement was filling my soul. Because in doing that, I had to challenge those thoughts. Where did they come from? And why do you think that? See, the Lord provides therapy, people. Cognitive therapy. You ought to try Jesus. You got to have faith, though. Faith combats hopelessness. And if you lack faith, you know, someone in the Bible says, I believe, but help my disbelief. The Lord will help you because I was asking the Lord, Lord, help my disbelief. And people, after I prayed, I am A-OK. -okay. We get like that at so I'm going to come back to this word, but let's share. Let's share some more of what I picked up. Let's see here. We all know that Tuesday morning, they had the best deals. And you know, they still got some of the best deals. Though their prices have went up tremendously. Oh my, even from last year, the prices noticeably went up. This wasn't a bad price at all. Uh, this is washi tape, and it's Busy Sidewalks, American Crafts, and, well, there's a couple, a couple prints that I, well, okay, I guess I'll open it up. Let's open this up. It's sealed pretty good. Now, there were other collections there. Now, Tuesday morning, oh, the more I say it, the more I just get sad because, and I've said this all the time in my haul videos and the live videos I did, they carried items you could only find online for the most part. They did have some items that HSN had but as far as the the big box craft stores, I just jacked that box up, huh? <laughs> they carried items that you would have to find online. So this is a Christmas or winter, because it is winter time, you all. But you have your poinsettias. This one here, though, and I know there's a glare with the sun. Look at the gingerbread and look at Mr. Claus. Look, and he looked like he might he might be brown. I don't know, but you got your peppermint stripes. You got your candy canes, and then you have these kids. I think I've seen, you know what? I was looking through my postage stamps, United States postal stamps, and I think I have some stamps that look like this, but I think these kids might be, dang, I cannot see. You know what, Felicia, let's open it up because these kids might be, they might be multicultural. 
But anyway, I thought it was cute. And it is snow time. It's snow season. So $4.39. And that didn't... Were these $3.99 before or $2.99? So that's a good price. I'll fix that later. Alrighty. What else? Oh. <laughs> um, It's interesting to come across this punch because I've been journaling the last several months. And... I looked through my stash a while ago for a corner punch, a die, a steel roll die. And I think I found a couple, but when I saw this punch, I knew, I knew I had to pick it up. I might do a video on this particular punch. So it makes, let's see, I think it makes a dimensional type corner which is cool because you can make a corner in any, use your various colors and different types of cardstock. Now, the regular price, $16.99. Yeah, that's expensive for a Tuesday morning, but I looked up in the store, scrapbook.com, and I think their price was $28. And I found another site that had it for about $25. So this is a great price. Now, if Joann's has it and you can get it, well, you know what? If the regular price is $29 and you find it at 50% off, it's going to be about this price. So yeah, this is a good coupon, coupon price, but you don't need the coupon. You get the coupon price at Tuesday morning. So cool. So I don't know if Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby got that punch, but they might have it. Alrighty, and then love some We Are Memory Keepers because they have all these different types of tools where you can make things. Look at the tassel loom. Easily makes tassels in a variety of sizes. Okay, I can't wait to try this out. Oh, you guys, and I am so behind on sharing this next item that I actually picked up last year during the summer. But I love it. My next video, I'm going to go ahead and share this. Because I meant to share it months ago. And it's this tool right here. I took the tool out. I want to say shave, but it's not shave. When you, not edge, when you distress the edges of your paper... You could use this tool for that. And I love it. So be on the lookout for my review video because I fell in love with this okay. when I got it. But this tassel maker looks pretty cool, right? Hmm. Okay. Definitely will review that. And then a jumbo pom-pom maker for $5.49. This item was $5.49 too. Now, I looked up videos when I was inside the store. There might be a small pom-pom maker or two, and I was looking for that one. I'm not too sure. I think the video I saw, it was of smaller pom-poms. So we shall see. But anyway, pom-poms are so popular, and just imagine using the different colors of yarn, I got rid of all of my yarn. Hmm. But these are so cute. I just hope to make the smaller ones. $5.49. Almost done, you all. I thought to get a pair of pajamas Tuesday morning hat. I actually had the set at the checkout counter. And it was they were really cute. It was animal style pink and then brown my favorite color i might still go back and get it but the reason why i didn't get it was because the the pants were all pink had the pants been that animal style too i definitely would have gotten it but who knows i might just go back and get it all right there were several different styles of these wooden pieces 45 pieces 329 and I chose this one. I like the sentiment, be bold. And then 
Oh, okay, there's different words here, authentic and original. And then the postage frames are so cute. Oh, and you know what? Hold on. This one says, be unique. I didn't notice that. And then you have the crown, the butterfly, the bird, and I don't know what... I don't know what shape that one represents. Yes! So I had in mind souvenir souvenir i don't think oh okay the candy is in the car because <laughs> i couldn't really find something that would help me like if i looked at it i would think okay yeah tuesday morning i have to go back but i grabbed some jelly beans they were in a cute container but they're in the car i started eating those when i got in the car so I had souvenir in mind because truth be told, I really don't know when I'll return to Tuesday morning. You know, you, you live life and then you forget and you realize the store has closed. <laughs> okay. The last items I got were, and I will keep the receipt. I'm going to journal this in my journal, how I wish I had the receipt when the store that that may close when it first opened. How I wish I had the receipt of my first purchase. Who knows, I might have it because for years I kept receipts, but you guys who keep receipts, you know they fade too. But I got some ephemera packs. $3.29 by Echo Park. And this one is spring related. It is winter time, but with the sun, it definitely feels at times like spring. It's called Welcome Spring Ephemera. And then this one, also by Echo Park. And Salutations number one. Dream big, friendship. There is beauty in everything. Love the sentiments. And then the last item was this item and see that brown and pink just got me just got me right there this one is called all girl and it's cute oh of course i'm using this i didn't read the title oh daddy's little girl i'm using this i don't care <laughs> It's cute. So you guys, that's my little haul from Tuesday morning. Um, and back to scripture. Because we need the word of God. His word is life. His word is living. His word can deliver you right now from that state of hopelessness. That state of darkness. If you put your faith in him. If you trust him with your heart. If you trust him with your life and your future. But let's read Proverbs 13 again, verses 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when desire comes, it is a tree of life. When we wait and wait a long time, you know, it can cause you to become physically sick. And the Lord don't want you to become physically sick. Not because you're waiting. And many are waiting for a good thing. We all are hoping for something and the Lord wants you to put your trust in him. So while you are waiting for that good thing to happen, the hopelessness don't destroy you in the process because other scriptures talk about when we are waiting, it's building up character in us. It's making us strong, whether or not we know it. I know we want what we want and we want it now. We, le we live in an instant society. Instant food, microwave. Um, you can get on your phone and, and shop right now and you can have it in one hour, have it in two hours. We, we don't know how to wait. But part of developing character and godly traits Oh, we're going to have to learn how to wait and we're going to have to learn how to hope in God. And you know what? When we are waiting, even for good things, 
It's building your faith. The Lord don't want any of us to succumb to hopelessness and darkness while we are waiting. Check out this scripture. So many of us love found in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the thoughts I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. People, God is thinking about you. And his thought is to give you a future and a hope, not in just this life. But see, God is thinking about the next life, which is eternal life. We all look as long as we are living, life won't be perfect. And the Lord wants to teach us how to build character, how to be patient, how to be hopeful how to be believing. And the only way to learn these things is to live and experience things. Just because you don't have, and even if that's a good thing you don't have, just because you don't have that thing yet, don't mean that you won't get it. And it don't mean that you will actually get it either. But you see, that shouldn't be our aim. I'm going to repeat that again. Even if you are hoping for a good thing, don't let that be your end all. The end is Jesus Christ. The end is Jesus Christ. Obeying Lord, serving the Lord, having faith in the Lord, even to the end of the last second of your life. When you trust God's plan for you that you don't see, but he sees See, sometimes when you're hoping and you don't get what you want, that can cause you to lose faith in God. That's part of that hopelessness. But when you have a faith in God that supersedes anything you could ask of God and not get when you have that type. And that's the kind of faith that God wants us all to have. He don't want our faith to be contingent upon what he gives us or what prayers he answers. That's not faith. That's conditional faith. That's conditional trust. That's conditional hope. But even when it don't go our way, the Lord still wants us to be devoted and have fidelity towards him. Put your hope in knowing that God has good thoughts of you, no matter what happens to you in this life. And thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you a future and to give you a hope. And people, that hope is Jesus Christ. Have your hope in Jesus Christ for your salvation. If we hope in that. See, because in this life, certain things we won't get. Even things we deem to be good. But there is one thing that is sure when this life ends. Those who believe and trust and obey God, they will have eternal life. That is the ultimate hope, eternal life. And with that being said, I hope you have been encouraged. (laughs) If you have, why not like this video? Give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not consider doing so? Hey, leave me a message, uh, a comment rather. Let me know if you have heard of any happenings concerning your local Tuesday morning? If Have you read anything in the paper? Let's keep each other in the know. And if you have been encouraged by the word of God, well, amen for that. Give him the praise. Say, thank you, Jesus. All right. I do want to thank you all for watching and be on the lookout because I do have a live video. All right. Blessings.